parliament has the power not to approve Charles Edouard. I hold the view that Charles Edouard by this conduct has demonstrated lack of capacity and fiduciary responsibility to lead the finance of our country. Let me tell you, as we speak to you, we know Ken is not well, and we wish him well, but he's not well. Tactically, Charles Edouard has been upgraded to the position of a minister of state for a reason, to provide the needed backstopping to the finance minister. And therefore, we are actually looking at somebody who could become the de facto finance minister of the state. And this is how he has started. So now when he becomes a minister of state and Ken relinquishes his responsibilities to this man, can you now tell the next move and how we are going to suffer it? So I am calling on my colleagues, first on the appointment committee and the plenary if they so recommend to us to reject Charles Edouboye in entirety because he is a very big danger to the finances of our country by this very conduct. And we cannot be looking at these numbers. How can we just be boring without end? And yet, we cannot demonstrate what we have used the money for. 200 billion. Does that sound like Ghana? 200 billion and we can't demonstrate what we have used this money for? And our children are still doing double track? It's unbelievable. On any day, I believe in the sanctity of parliament. And that's the reason I have not resigned from parliament. On any day, I believe in the collective will of the minority to protect the public purse. But don't forget that when we come to parliament as individuals, we have a responsibility to different stakeholders. And individuals respond to those different stakeholders differently. Okay. And so on the basis of that, it is very difficult for me to pigeonhole everybody in parliament because we all provide different weights and different importance to different stakeholders within the sphere of our work as members of parliament. I have a different view as to why we would put such a person there. Some may look at other aspects that may overweigh my concerns. But collectively, I think parliament takes a decision given all these array of, of stakeholder interest.